Hey YouTube, they finally opened the Big Thunder Trail to <laughs> Frontierland. Woohoo! And this is eventually going to be where the entrance to Star Wars Land is. So, let's go in and see what they did. It's very sunny. Big gate still there. Okay, so. Lots of rocks. And they still have this cool bench. I'm trying to go up above people's heads. And the lamp posts are cute. Okay, look over here. This is really cute. Okay, they made it nice through here. So there's the mine cars and all kinds of minor stuff on there. And we all know what's gonna be over here. Star Wars land, yay, woo! Look at me big gate thingy. So a lot of people worried about, you know, the landscaping fitting with Disney. Ooh, look back there. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. There's stuff back there. And it's wood. Yeah. But over here, it definitely fits. It's really nice. This is great. We haven't been able to go through here in so long. Oh look, it's like a little, know, like, like, like broken know, down wagon, wagon wheels, and then they've got like a little fire going there, and a cooking pot, and pickaxes and shovels, and then over here, um, the brand for Big Thunder Ranch is represented right here on the little lantern. Isn't that cool? A lot of people miss that barbecue restaurant over here. We miss it too. It was very good. And they still have the mining kind of lampposts. Look at this super cool view of Big Thunder peeking up over the fence with the barbed wire. See Disney. Uh, this is called immersive theming or immersion. Okay, now over here. I'm gonna peek up in here. You also see the little homage to Big Thunder Ranch right there. Thank you, Imagineers, for that. As you come around the corner, you have this amazing rock overhang. It's so sunny, I can't see. And actually, so. Somebody in my Disney group was asking about this path and congestion because it looks quite, um, look at me! It looks quite narrow, but it's actually pretty wide, as you can see. A lot of people can come through here. Wow, looks pretty amazing. The rock is really beautiful. And then over here, another nice view, and all with Disney trash cans. They're very exciting. Another nice view of Big Thunder. And then we're coming around the mountain. And we're seeing more mountain, Big Thunder. And here's more view of, look at, they have, like as if you're inside a mine and then they have the little lanterns at the top. This is gonna be cool at night. We're gonna have to come back through here at night for you. Look at this cute little detail right here. Cast miners only. <laughs> now all the lanterns are on and it's sunny afternoon. Here's a view going back through there. So it is quite wide. And this is the path that will go through to Fantasyland. 
And then Star Wars Land entrance, I don't know. I guess it's going to be over here or back there. Maybe they'll have two. I don't know. The theming is wonderful. Really, really nice. Of course the Imagineers did a good job with theming. Explosive, do not enter. Hee <laughs> hee. I used to teach fourth grade and I taught California history for many years and teaching the gold rush was my very, very favorite subject. I used to turn our entire classroom into a gold mine and I had my miner hat and we, I did everything thematic. We did minor journals and lots of, we wrote minor songs, just did all kinds of stuff. There's a pulley up there. So they can lower it down and bring things up to that landing. And every single little lantern here has the brand. It's, it's, it's like the metal brands that they would use for a cow. Let me zoom in on that there. Come on, focus, Mr. Camera. Actually, it should be Miss Camera because my camera's pink. It has a pink cover on it. And then here's the view of Big Thunder from here again. And then we go all the way through. La la la. La la la. I'm singing for you. Keep going. Big giant. Wow, is that what they the And here we go. This is great. Star Wars Land is coming. It's very sunny right here. Let me get a better view of it. On a remote outpost planet, new adventures await. <laughs> I'm gonna go up close. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. I promise. I just know it. And it's gonna feel very Disney. Look at the pictures. Look at the concept art. It feels Disney. I promise you, haters. That's the game. I promise you. If you came with me to Star Wars Land, believe me, you would love it. There is no lack of fun, happiness, magic, or pixie dust when you're on a Heather Ann trip to Disneyland. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's gonna be amazing. It is. I, I think, I predict, here's my prediction. Even people who don't like Star Wars are going to love Star Wars Land. That's what I predict. I do. And more Big Thunder views. So that's it. We came all the way around. The entrance is gonna be ginormous. I like that word, ginormous. And then we still have this boggy little bog over here. Boggy bog. <laughs> it's a boggy bog. A little swampy swamp over here. And now we're back to the regular path that we all know and love. Okay, YouTube. You know we love ya, right? Look at my daughter, she's mini bounding. I'm mini bounding today too, but you're not seeing me because I'm the camera talker person. Yes, please subscribe so you can get all of our updates. Okay, so really fast before I go. Okay, so as I'm looking through the fence and looking at the rock work for Star Wars Land, it matches. I'm telling you, this transition is going to be seamless. It's going to be more seamless than moving from other lands. That's what I think. That's what I predict. I think there's so much pressure on the Imagineers to make Star Wars Land work and fit and not be weird in Disneyland that they're going to make it seamless. That's my prediction. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I don't think so. Okay. Love you, YouTube. Bye-bye.